the coastal oceans of New Zealand, where cold, nutrient-dense water rises up from the depths and supports a diverse mix of species. While most life here is submerged underwater, an equally astounding collection of life lives above. Seabirds. These Australasian gannets nest along the rocky cliffs to protect their young from land-based predators. The monogamous breeding pairs rarely stray far from each other, sometimes riding the air currents in search of food. Seabirds often choose these rugged, isolated habitats for their nesting colonies and return to the same place every year. While young chicks may be safe from predators here, they're left vulnerable to the elements. These gannets only have a few months to grow from small puffballs to sleek juveniles with flight feathers before their parents take to the sea. Across the ocean, the gannets' more famously flamboyant family member are raising chicks of their own. Much like the gannets, the blue-footed booby establishes large breeding colonies on land and raise their chicks on regurgitated fish. Though they live along the western coasts of Central and South America, half of all breeding pairs live here in the Galapagos Islands. The blue-footed boobies share this famous habitat with a whole range of seabirds. Cormorants occupy a very similar niche as boobies. Shearwaters form massive feeding flocks. Pelicans float effortlessly in between feeding dives. And frigate birds ride the air currents in search of a meal. And when these birds congregate at night, the results can be dazzling. Shorebirds like these oyster catchers and herons may look very different from seabirds, with their long legs and pointed beaks specialized for hunting along the water's edge. But they're united by their common search for fish. And where better to find fish than fishing boats? Diverse flocks of birds can be found surrounding fishing boats like this one around the world because fishermen have just gotten so good at harvesting the small forage fish seabirds rely on. Anchovies and sardines made up over half of all landings for small pelagic fish and end up at factories like this one in Peru. These are some of the most heavily fished species in the world with estimates showing that global sardine stocks have dropped by 90% over the last decade. With global demand for fish growing every year, seabirds are having a much harder time finding food, which hurts their ability to grow and reproduce. If this continues on its current path, we may see a crash in seabird populations we won't be able to reverse. 